one second on the ticker and counting. There we go. Well, there I go. I'm drunk. Hang on, right there. I'm getting things together to make some spaghetti. gonna take a while um, yeah that'll do now I just have to wait for the water to get going I don't want to say this. Long fucking time ago, on this very fucking planet, I started integrating my past life self started integrating my existence into human culture, philosophy, and religion. Zeus, Odin, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, um, Arjuna, Hallelujah, way, uh, well, I already said Allah. Eh, fuck it. I never had children. I just... moved my existence into a physical body and took possession of it. And I'm back again. I've already said some of these things. And for me... Being drunk allows the energy from my true self to flow much more efficiently through this physical brain past the boundaries of uh, emotional and psychological programming that most of humanity seems to favor putting itself through. Well, that being aside, what I would like to say is quite simply right now I am waiting as I have been for quite some time for everyone to realize to realize the futility of your clinginess in religious belief It's utterly pointless. I stopped listening to prayers long ago. So did Satan. Yeah, he took that job on for a little while. And some years ago, your amount of time measurement, I just stopped listening altogether. Stopped thinking for you. My answer was simply, fix your own damn problems. Maybe you heard that when you were praying. I don't fucking know. I just put the message out there. Like an answering machine. Fix your own shit, humanity. I'm done. I've got my own life to live. Not just in this... physical body. I've got my own life to live. 
Why the fuck would I spend every fucking billionth and quintillionth of a second obsessing over your fucking existence when I have my own life to live? Why the fuck would I give a shit about your petty problems that you could solve with patience and simple observation and thinking for yourselves when I have my own life to live. So I'm just waiting for all of you to wake yourselves up and stop being so dependent on other people and other beings to do things for you you can easily do yourselves. And yeah, it's gonna take a lot of effort. Just like me making this physical form immune to the... Well, you call it the coronavirus, COVID-19, or Kung Flu, as I like to call it, because it kicks your ass. Well, me making myself immune to it hurt like fucking hell. But only in this physical body. It's a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of pain to do something for yourself. Yeah, I could quote a movie there. Life is pain. Anyone telling you any different is selling you something. That's from the only romance that I'll ever watch called The Princess Bride. I enjoy that one. Possibly the only romance I'll ever watch. It's more grounded in um, the reality and the emotional and psychological standing. Even if, you know, a fire swamp <laughs> and rodents of unusual size is highly unlikely the emotional and psychological standpoint it's pretty grounded when you first experience life it can be frightening yeah it, it's painful at first stretching your muscles out is painful at first There's very small difference between beginning to live life and it being painful and learning to use your muscles and it being painful. Let's, let's put that into an example. The first time you go and start uh, stretching your your body and increasing your dexterity and how limber you are it can be painful because your muscles aren't used to it the um, the strands of the muscles at the cellular level they're used to being like this and being clenched like this and then you go and stretch them out they have to grow into that and you're pulling the nerves apart in the peripheral nervous system and yeah it heals it's programmed to at the genetic level so your body interprets this change that you're introducing to it as a form of pain only much later with months or even years of work and effort does your body stop seeing it as pain because it's adapted to the stretching and your nerves have become more rubber like and they stretch along with your muscles the same thought process can be applied to just living life and humanity you've been stuck in your crib for too long
you've babied and pampered yourselves and coddled yourselves for far too long. Um, good example is from Star Trek The Next Generation. John Delancey's Q tells Patrick Stewart's John Luke Picard, Picard, not Buckard, fucking brain, look, you know the words, okay? Just, even though I'm drunk, stop fucking around for funsies. He tells him, if you can't handle life, go hide under your bed. Blatantly and plainly. And he calls humanity a child race that isn't ready for space exploration. Well, everybody, look inside yourself. Face yourself for who you really are. We're like another YouTube channel. A fellow uh, under the YouTube channel, Infinite Waters Diving Deep, says, You spend enough time alone, you'll eventually realize, Hey, I am weird. Just accept it. Just learn from yourself who you really are. What I'm saying may not make much sense to you thinking about the situation going on globally right now but take a step back from being psychologically and emotionally involved in what everyone else is doing and measure yourself against yourself you might come to some weird conclusions. <clears throat> and for me, living in this physical form, it's just a... It's the fun, the drama of relearning who the fuck I really am. For me, it's just for fun. And, it, honestly, yeah, I'll, I'll learn some new things, some new tricks, some, uh, some nifty things here and there, just from blanking the slate, as it were, and starting all over. Kind of like uh, replaying a video game <clears throat> from the start all over again. Like uh, an RPG. You find out something new you didn't know that was there already. But it's been there the whole time. So for me, that's similar to what it is. Just call it a thought experiment. A thinking experiment. And from time to time, I think it would be beneficial for me to continue doing this sort of thing with different species across different dimensions of reality and existence. Just to add more life experience. Because doing the same thing over and over for billions of years is mind-numbingly boring. So, practically, it shakes things up, makes things interesting. What is life without things being interesting? <clears throat> it's boring. So, accept or refuse what I'm saying? Your choice. There's not always those two binary options. There are others, but find them out for yourself, and definitely measure yourself against yourself. Stop measuring yourself against other people.
<clears throat> and I'm still just patiently waiting for humanity to wake up and realize that religion's not something you should devote your existence to. You're far better off devoting your energy to improving yourself. And I've said that hundreds of times before across millions of years of human existence. That might require a lot of explaining. Especially with the suspension of belief and the normalcy bias. Ugh, I hate the normalcy bias. But you know what? If you take nothing else away from this video and me talking into a camera and putting it on a, a network called YouTube for you to view, take away this you're far better off devoting your time and attention and energy to analyzing and discovering who you are. Not praying to some jerk off in the sky who uh, apparently watches you all the fucking time. Because I don't. Never did, never have, never fucking will. Think of it this way. Who else but a control freak and a sociopath would want to control or even monitor every last single fucking thing you do and say and think? That's just messed up. Even to me. Even to Satan. We both find that disgusting. So, let me live my own life, you go live yours. Maybe we'll share some interesting stories along the way. Oh yeah, until next time, fuck off. Ooh, 17 minutes of me being a fucking idiot. A fucking idiot! But maybe with something interesting to say. I don't fucking know.